What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix a simple issue that you could be getting with practically any Steam game, and that's the Steam must be running in order to play this game error that you could get playing literally anything. More likely than not, absolute simplest solution is making sure Steam is installed and signed in and working properly, which more than likely it already is. Just make sure to launch your games here by selecting them and clicking play rather than using shortcuts. A lot of the time, if you manually create a shortcut to the game's .exe file and run it, it won't detect Steam running at all for some reason. A lot of games are made this way, they don't detect Steam, instead you have to launch them through Steam normally by selecting it and clicking play. You can right click games here, choose manage and add desktop shortcuts to create shortcuts to games that look a little bit different to normal shortcuts. They don't point to an exe, instead they point to Steam and ask Steam to start your game. That's the absolute simplest solution other than restarting your PC which is probably something you've already tried, if not try it. Say things still aren't working, if you're one who leaves your PC running for years at a time, Steam may be out of date. Open up Steam, in the top left click Steam, then click check for Steam client updates. It'll run the Steam self updater and if it isn't up to date, it'll download files, reinstall the latest version and hopefully things will be working again. Some people have also reported issues with the Steam beta, these issues come and go as development goes on. If you're in the beta or want to check Steam in the top left, then settings and on the account tab at the very bottom you'll see beta participation. Simply click change here if you see Steam beta and you can opt in or opt out of Steam beta programs here simply by choosing from the drop down OK, OK, and you'll be prompted to restart Steam if you've changed anything. Assuming Steam isn't the cause of the issue, it could be the game itself. The simplest solution, right click the game in Steam, properties, head to the local files tab on the left and then click verify integrity of game files here. By doing so, it'll run through all of the game files on your PC, making sure that everything's exactly as it should be and if any of the game's files aren't detected to be the same as what's on Steam servers, they'll be downloaded, fixed up and replaced on your PC, leaving you with what's effectively a fresh copy of the game. This leaves your save games and everything else intact, don't worry, it's just the game files to make sure things are working as they should be. Most of the time, this simple solution is all you need to get back up and running. And finally, if you're still having bad luck, exit out of Steam by clicking Steam in the top left, then exit, wait for it to completely close, and then locate a Steam shortcut. In my case, I have one over here on my start menu. I can right click it, head across to more, and then run as administrator. You'll see this in many different places. If you have a desktop shortcut, for example, you'll be able to right click and choose run as administrator here instead. By doing so, if you're running games as admin and not Steam, it's very likely that this could be the cause of an issue. Otherwise, you're giving Steam more permissions, giving it a better chance for things to work properly. And with that comes the end of this super basic video. More than likely, your issue is solved at this point. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobay here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.